everyone, it's Kat here. Welcome to my channel and hope everyone's doing well. I have popped on today um, because Nat Williams has tagged me into a challenge that's doing the rounds at the moment on YouTube and it's called 10 Crafty Question Challenge. Um, so thanks Nat. <laughs> that's, um, actually it's really awesome that Nat has tagged me in along with I believe Wendy Mason so I will um, link below um, in my description a link to Nat's uh, YouTube channel I think it's a great way to get to know the community and I watched um, Nat's um, video and I, I just really enjoyed listening to her responses to the questions and just getting to know Nat a little bit more Nat and I are both on the design team for Lavender Blue so we, we're, we're getting to know each other a little bit so that, that's really great so um, I thought I would do a little just uh, crafting and um, preparing for some Christmas um, journals that I wanted to get finished which I actually started last year when I was a beginner and um, I'll just show you I've had this packed of, probably can't see that but yeah I've got this huge box of um, journals that I started last I year. I just had this thing that I would like do a few big mess um, journals and I got completely overwhelmed because I was a beginner <laughs> so, and I'm not saying I'm highly experienced because um, well anyway I won't say too much more because now I might ruin my questions down the track but anyway I just thought I would just do a little craft along with me um, while I was chatting away so let me see I've written some notes on the side here just to keep me a little bit focused and make sure I don't forget anything so I at the yeah at the end I will tag a couple of people as well just to keep keep it going keep the momentum going and um, like I said it's a bit of fun to get to know everyone yeah especially in the Australian community and um, it's good to get to know the local girls so without further ado let's get going but um, so what I thought I would do is um, just uh, I've, I've pre-cut some things out with my die cut machine and uh, I've got a couple of ideas so I've got some scrap um, manila files that I've um, pre-cut out I've got some tea stained uh, paper that I've cut the same die cut now what I was thinking so let me make a start just get rid of that little circle so I'm just going to use some yoohoo glue so actually so get myself organized okay so the first question my name <laughs> my name now you would think that this would be a fairly simple question to answer um, and let me try and answer it as um, easily and quickly as I can my name is Katrina Holbrook um, but I am divorced and I am now engaged to a wonderful man and um, I divorced um, nearly nine years ago and as you know we have to keep our married name as our legal name plus professionally I am known as Holbrook so I have kept my name but I have reverted back to my maiden name so on my Facebook it says um, me Webb, which is my maiden name. So my name is Katrina Holbrook, um, but I go by my maiden name like when I'm outside of work. So <laughs> there we go. I think that worked out pretty good. Um, so where was I? Yeah, so um, that's, and my middle name is Gwyneth. So Katrina Gwyneth um, Webb is obviously what I was known at when I was before I was married, which I was married when I was 21. So I have been a um, so 21. Yeah, I think I was 21 when I got married. Um, so I have been a Holbrook for a very long time. And when I get married, because you know you probably noticed I'm engaged. Um, I will be a Spencer, so I will be Katrina Spencer. And I like that name actually. Um, oh, I've got myself muddled up. Um, all right, let's do a red. Okay, so question two. 
how did you come up with your YouTube name? Well, this is a bit of a funny one. Um, Mike, who's my fiance, and I were brainstorming some ideas. And because um, I tried a few things, I've, I've kind of wanted to be doing something on the side for a bit. And um, anyway, I got stumbled into the junk journals, which I absolutely loved. And I knew that that, that was, I found my thing. And uh, anyway, we were throwing a few names around. And Mike opened up the um, fridge and he saw a jar of jam in the fridge. He was making some toast. <laughs> and he said, I tell you what, he walked up to me and he goes, how about Jolly Jam Journals? <laughs> I, mean, I love it. I love it. So that's it. And, you know, I did not know that story. Um, Mike told me that story only last night when I was telling him about the challenge that I had been tagged into. And so I was going through the questions with him and, um, and he told me, about the jam and I didn't know that I just thought he was just really clever and just came up came up with that name but there you go um but yeah so that's um how I came up with my YouTube name so I straight away went and registered it and um start, got my domain name and all that sort of stuff so okay what is your favorite craft well my favorite craft is making journals um, that's an easy question. So, um, that's gone a little bit on the side there. That's the one good thing about you who glues. You've got a bit of time to move things around with it. Okay. I'll have to trim these up a little bit after, but I think, um, by the time I distress the edges and maybe sew, I think it'll be all right. Um, okay. So where was I? What is my favorite craft? Okay. So yeah, my favorite craft is what I'm doing now, making journals. So if I expand perhaps a little bit more on that, how I got into making journals um, was, um, well, I've always liked writing in a journal and I'm, I'm, I have a bit of a planner um, thing going on as well, I like my bullet journal. <clears throat> so I bought myself some lovely Chic Sparrow um, leather, well, I bought myself a really, really lovely Chic Sparrow. I treated it for my birthday. And um, and then I was looking at the, you know, replacement signatures and they were quite expensive. And I thought, gosh, I reckon I could make these. So I started searching on YouTube. And then before I knew it, I came on to Sea Lemon and um, I saw her um, Outlander uh, I watched it with amazement and I thought oh my goodness I think I could make that and so not only was I looking at making signatures um, to you know fill in my um, traveler style notebook style you know signatures um, but suddenly I was like oh gosh um, I think that is an awesome idea and I'm going to make an make that journal and then because I'm a fan of um, the Outlander series can't wait for the next season and I've got the three books um, but I have not read them yet because I've been too busy making junk journals. Um, <laughs> I made this um, this journal, which I have um, filmed a flip through of that. So I will link that because now I've worked out how to do that. Yeah. Interested to have a look at that. And um, yeah, so one thing led to another. And then before I knew it, I had um, stumbled on to, um, well, I think she did um, also a... Um, not a Harry Potter journal, but a, um, uh, oh, what's his name? Anyway, I will work out how to, I'll look that up again and, um, and put that in. And, um, I thought, oh gosh, my stepdaughter is a massive Harry Potter fan. And I'm like, okay, I'll, I'll make that for her. Um, and then before I knew it, I got onto, um, dreams, etc. um, Harry Potter, um, journal <laughs> and her papers her wizarding world papers and then that was it I was like oh my goodness um, so then I just started um, searching for all these um, Harry Potter style journals and I was just getting so inspired um, and then I stumbled onto little golden books and then that was it I was absolutely hooked um, so I made my Harry Potter um, journal which I've, uh, well, I made two, which I've done flip throughs of those as well. So you can look them up on my channel. And um, 
I, uh, what else did I do? I, um, yeah, I've lost my train of thought. So, so my favorite craft is, um, making the journals. Um, I've also done a little bit of, um, knitting. Um, I've done sewing. Sewing is another thing that I've enjoyed. Um, to be honest, I've always kind of worked and studied, um, so I haven't had time, you know, being a mum and working and um, studying, etc. Um, that I never had time really to craft. I kind of lost it. So, um, I don't know, over the years, now that my boys have grown up and left home, um, you know, you sort of get used to that. You, you adjust to that. And then I obviously had more time on my hands. And, um, and yeah, I sort of um, started gravitating towards... Um, doing the crafting stuff and also there's there's Mike and I you know 90% of the time so you know I was used to running a big household bigger or a bigger household with my boys you know who are always hungry so you're always cooking and baking and things like that and of course when they left home and I didn't have to do that anymore um, and Mike's not a real um, you know he's not really into the baked treats I mean he loves them when I make them but he doesn't like to eat the whole lot so it was a bit of a waste um, so for me doing the crafting to me it's kind of like I know this might sound weird but to me it's kind of like cooking you, you have all your various ingredients and you have your method and you put them together and you make the finished product so um, I guess, yeah, it's not a craft, but I used to love cooking. And so because I stopped cooking, I think I was just looking for something to do, creative or, you know, an outlet. And um, and then I stumbled onto this and I've just been hooked ever since. So, um, yeah. Uh, okay, so the next question. My favourite shops for craft supplies. Okay, so when I started out, obviously I really didn't have very much at all. Um, so op shops, um, I really got that message very quickly and that's another reason why I love junk journals actually because I love recycling and repurposing stuff. So to me it was just a natural fit and um, I scoured, you know, my op shops and I, I've got amazing stuff, as you do, you know, I love seeing what people get. I may not always like and comment because half the time I'm sort of working, but I'm sort of always there in the background looking and, you know, I'll like and comment when I can. Um, so I built up quite a lot of lace and papers and, you know, just little bits and it's really lovely. Um, I, I do encourage people that when they're going through their craft stuff, um, you know, if you've been holding on to something for ages and you don't, you know, you haven't been using it and you don't think you will, then just bundle it up in a big bag and just donate it because that's what happened with me. I walked into one op shop and th that must have been something that someone had done because it was just absolutely amazing what, what was in that bag. I couldn't believe that they had given it away. And um, I snapped it up for like $3, this huge bag of, of very usable stuff. Um, and I just was absolutely wrapped. So um, this is why I'm using up all my scraps actually, because I want to um, start the new year um, with, you know, having, having used up a lot of my stuff. And I've got, you know, fresh year. I might just pull that paper off. And, um, yeah, so I, I would like to use up my supplies as much as I can, which I'm doing a really good job because, I mean, let's be honest, I haven't, I've been crafting for about a year, so um, I don't have huge amounts of um, boxes and boxes and boxes of stuff like some ladies do. Um, and I've got limited space too because I've only got a little three by two with um, not a lot of storage space, so I have to be you know, careful how much I keep on hand. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Um, I've been Marie Kondoing already because <laughs> that's another one of my um, things that I'm slowly working my way through. And um, yeah, I'm going to just sort of really cull down like what I'm not going to use. And then um, I'm going to start New Year um, and treat myself and get myself some really lovely papers and, um, you know, uh, just... Uh, 
to use up my scraps. Um, so this Christmas paper that I've been cutting in that is, is pretty much all I've got left over from what I bought last year. And I think even then last year I bought it like discounted. Um, and some of the IP, oh, that's another place I like to shop is Facebook Marketplace. You can pick up some good stuff. I've picked up Country Diary of an Edwardian Lady on Facebook Marketplace for $10. So yeah, I hunt, hunt around in Facebook Marketplace. Okay, so um, my favorite shops, so op shops, um, uh, yeah, Spotlight. I, I picked up some things from Spotlight. It's good when you get the VIP 40%, although don't do what I did and think that it's 40% off everything. It's 40% off the most expensive single item that is not on sale. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so Spotlight, uh, Craft Online, um, I've picked up a lot of supplies from there, mainly all my tools and stuff and die cuts and that. And there's a place in Joondalup, um, I can't think of the name of it at the moment, but I will, yeah, I will display it across the screen and I'll look that up. So, top five YouTube channels or more. Gosh, yeah, I, I wrote them down because... Um, I don't know that I've actually got a favourite. I've got lots and lots of favourites, as we all do. Um, so, okay, here we go. When I first started out, um, Wendy's Journal Adventures and Gail Agnostelli and Nick the Booksmith. Um, you know, they're, they're so big and, you know, they, they do wonderful stuff. So, you know, they're great for tutorials and things. And then... Um, from there, Tracy Fox... And I love, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm the same as everybody else. I love all the lovely botanicals that they do. And Mrs. Cog's Crafts. Um, I bought her um, her teddy bear journal. Um, I don't know if that's what it's called. But anyway, I bought one of her courses and I made, um, I haven't made the teddy bear. In fact, I've got, that's another project. I've got it ready to go. I'm actually going to finally make the teddy bear journals. <laughs> I actually made my gardening journals and my botanical journals using you know her methodology um so mrs cogs crafts um then uh you know another one roxy creations she's australian so that's great um but she's in italy and um and i've looked at her straw paper but it's just way too expensive to bring over and um zoe tofield um, is another one. Uh, when I wanted to do the hollow back spine, she's got great tutorials there for hollow back spine. You can probably hear my dog in the background. Every time she does this when I start filming, she decides to arc up and uh, make noises. Okay. Boo boo! Shh! <laughs> Okay, she's lying on her back and she's got her four paws up in the air and she's given herself a good back rub, so she's really enjoying herself. Um, okay, so um, who, who else? So, um, yeah, Roxy Creations, Zoe Tofield, um, I like her style and also, oh, Artie Mays, yes, love Artie Mays. Um, I, I, I do a lot of her, um, I, I like her mixed media stuff. Um, we all do that in envelopes. I know a lot of us were doing that a few weeks couple of months back um and bohemian crafting um i've enjoyed her i mean she's amazing um i think i heard someone refer to her as the book the paper architect or book architect she is amazing what she does she just blows me away um who else um jeanette bagley um mia crafts um she's actually in our junk journal down under group so um Oh, yeah, I, I love watching her stuff and um, I probably was a little bit inspired when I did my um, Holly Hobby journal um, from, from, you know, all the lace and fabric that she uses. And um, yeah, so I, I know when Nat answered this question, she, she watches a lot of Australian YouTubers. Um, so I'm going to start looking at that um, because I must admit I'm getting a little bit I'm not saying I'm getting bored but you know because I've been watching the same ladies for it for a while now um, I sort of do I've got other ones in my um, I, I know that there's um, is she called the mushroom factory or mushroom something I, I think she's Australian oh, of course Ju Junie Desiree and um, Johanna Clow I enjoy watching their their videos 
Um, but yeah, I'm going to um, certainly make more of an effort now to hunt around and, and watch some more of the Aussie girls. Um, and I think this is great, this little crafty challenge thing, because um, it's great to get to know everybody. How am I going for time there? Okay, 22 minutes. And by the time I edit this, it'll probably be a little bit less. Um, okay, so yeah, that's my top five. Um, favourite colours. My favourite colours, um, gosh, would be the pinks and the lavenders, um, you know, for, for like your ladies botanical type journals. And then um, I would say the teals. Um, yeah, I think they, they would be my favourite colours. Okay, um, my favourite craft tools. Well, yeah, gosh, um, definitely my sewing machine. In fact, when I first got into doing this, um, I went out and bought myself a really lovely sewing machine. <laughs> it was the one of the first things I bought and I had a chat to my fiance and I said, look, I want to get a good one. I, I thought I would just get like a little cheap one, um, but I, and I did actually, I went and bought one on Facebook marketplace for 20 bucks and it seized up and the bobbin kept um, bunching underneath and, and it was driving me insane. Like I was ready to throw the thing out the window. <clears throat> so I thought, right, okay, I have to get myself a proper sewing machine, but I want to go to a sewing machine shop where I can get it serviced and I can go back if I've got any problems. Um, so I went to a local place down here in Midland in WA. Um, I think it's called the Benina Centre. Um, it's on Great Eastern Highway anyway. And the lady there was really lovely and she sat and gave me a demo and I got a fairly good one because um, at the time I was thinking I would like to get into leather as well. Um, and Mike expressed an interest too, saying that he might get into it, which I think he will one day, but you know, men, they just sort of take a lot longer than us. Well, you know, I don't know, maybe I'm generalising there, but um, the men I've known in my life, um, they just sort of seem to take a little bit longer than us women to get around to doing certain things. Um, so I got myself a fairly decent one anyway. And um, so that's my sewing machine. And then, um, so it's got lots of lovely stitches on it as well. And it can um, stitch into leather down the track. Um, my Big Shot machine. I treated myself for another birthday present. This was like not the same year that I got my Chic Sparrow. Um, diary but that was I think last year I got myself a big shop I put that in for my birthday request and um, my paper trimmer I indulged myself and got myself a fairly good one um, certainly not as fancy as some that I've seen on YouTube but it does the job actually it's just here um, whoops but I've used it a lot I did pick up, it's one of these, I did pick up, um, oops, knocking all my glue everywhere. I did pick this, um, I pick up a guillotine um, a paper trimmer in Audi for like 20 bucks and that did the job. But um, yeah, eventually, I, I wanted to get a straighter car and I, I, I love that, absolutely love that. And that gets a huge workout and apparently it never needs the blade replacing. I don't know if that's true, but you know, it's been going strong, so... Hopefully, um, I don't know how to replace the blade if I need to. <laughs> so I guess I'll be posting about that on uh, my Facebook group. Um, well, not mine, but Junk Journal Down Under, asking for some help. Okay, so what else? Uh, my scoreboard. Um, I invested in a scoreboard as well, which has got an envelope maker. Um, so I just sort of, you know, yeah, the, when I was, a lot of those I got from Craft Online or I just ordered online and I just, um, you know, I did my research and I just ummed it hard. Do I really need it? But, oh, there's also another um, place here in Perth. It's called, I think it's called the Scrapbook Store. Um, and I, and I went there and got a lot of stuff when I first started out, you know, just all your ink pads, your distress inks, your, um, embossing powders, um, your, your ink dyes. Um, every time you went to do a project, like there was just something else that you ne needed, you know, to paint brushes, you know, gesso, texture paste. I mean, I had to start from scratch. So gosh, you know, every time I wanted to do a project, I'd have to go out with my shopping list and get, get all the things that I needed. 
but I've got a pretty good base now, so um, that one's must have been, I cut a few of these out at a time, so this, this fold line is a little bit fainter than the others. There we go. Um, okay, so craft tools, what else? Um, so actually what I've got is, um, sorry, just want to get that straight. What I've got is my um, little tote. Um, yeah, okay, that's probably, you can't see that. <laughs> but, um, okay, so I've got my, my glue in there. This is like empty as, but I keep it upside down. Um, and I had the lid undone, so it's probably leaked all through my back. Um, I keep my scissors, yeah. <laughs> it's, oh my goodness, all the glue has leaked out onto the bottom of the bag, but hey, what would a craft bag be without a little bit of um, glue? Okay, so they're my fabric scissors. I'm going to have to clean them up. Thankfully, that's, that glue comes off fairly easily. So they're my fabric scissors. Then they're my, you know, little zigzag scissors. Um, I eventually lashed out and bought my Tim Holtz um, Tonic Studio scissors, which I love. Um, and I'm glad I did that, that it was a very good investment. Um, these are just my other paper scissors that I used to use. And they're still going strong, but um, it's good to have a couple. Um, what else have I got? Okay. Um, this little embossing and sc score pad thing as well. Um, what else is in there? Oh yeah, of course, my crocodile thing. And my, when I do my beading stuff, plus I've got others, but um, I mainly, like, I just keep them on hand. Um, what else is in here? Oh, yeah. I saw Nat had one of these. These are great. Um, and I bought this recently. Um, it's just a little hole thing. Um, my craft knife and these are really quite handy i bought these off ebay and um they're a little, i think they're like an embroidery scissor and they're a bit curved and they're excellent for fussy cutting especially little bits when you've got like little curves and stuff um bone folder um oh yeah my um distress edge I think no I think you've probably all seen these um, my sponge applicators and these other scissors as well these are pretty good fussy cutting as well um, and then I've got this little jar with all these little brushes in it, which is pretty cool. And that's pretty much what I've got in there. Oh, and then um, in the pockets at the front here, I've got, you know, your distress inks. So, um, someone else is in here. Yeah, I think I've pretty much got everything out. Oh yeah, I've got another couple of distress inks, but go down to the bottom. Um, I've got to put them away there from when I was doing my um, my last journal, my Holly Hobby journal. Um, yeah, so I always keep these on hand. So that's your tea dyed and your vintage photo. Uh, it's pretty much pretty much my little um, yeah my little tool belt, I guess you could say that I keep keep around on hand. Saves me having to go back into my office and rooting around in the drawers and then, you know, yeah, just taking forever ever to find everything. Okay, so um, where did you get your love of crafting from? Um, I don't really know um, because I can't say anyone in my family has ever been really crafty. The only thing I can put it down to is that my uncle um, was a professional jazz player. Uh, he, he was a drummer and um, in the Dick Frankel's band in South Australia. Um, so he was obviously creative and I, I enjoy singing, not that I'm um, 
ever taken lessons or anything, but I've been told I, at, you know, when I was younger, I was told I was good. So I don't know. Maybe there's just a bit of that creative side, and because I've always been busy kind of studying and in numbers and stuff, um, I've never really expressed it. But it's funny because I don't know if you know this, but if you're good at music, apparently you're good at maths. <laughs> Apparently it's got something to do with the rhythm and, you know, reading the notes and counting and stuff. So I don't know if that's true, but that's what I was told. And I'm not saying I'm good at maths because um, what I do is not maths. What I do is um, probably, yeah, but anyway, we digress. Um, so I don't know where really I got my love of crafting from. Um, but yeah, I do it because it, um, it helps soothe me. I find that with the stresses and the pressures from the day um, that when I do crafting um, I'm so busy focusing on what I do um, that it's I've been told actually by a friend who's a Buddhist that it's actually a form of meditation it's 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 like mindfulness because you're focusing on one single thing and then of course you know we're all the same I guess we we um, trying to work out how to do something or we get all these ideas and you wake up in the middle of the night and all you're thinking about is how you're going to get that pocket on that page <laughs> so I think it's um that's probably why I why I love doing it when did I start crafting um okay so yeah I I probably started crafting around about if I look back at like my Facebook posts um I think it's around about August August last year that I started doing this um so I will say about then. But I mean, obviously, off and on throughout my life, I've done different types of crafting. So, um, yeah, I've done knitting. Um, uh, trying to think. Yeah, sewing a little bit. Cross-stitch. Cross-stitch is actually, yeah, cross-stitch I enjoy doing. Um, em embroidery stuff. Fabric. Anything to do with fabric I really enjoy. Okay, so number 10. We're finally on number 10. What has been your favourite craft so far? Hmm. What is your favourite craft? What has been your favourite craft so far? What is my favourite craft? Um, well, junk journaling and, um, well, yeah, I, I think this has been my favourite craft so far. <laughs> Follow closely by, um, yeah, doing the cross stitch. Uh, I can't crochet. I try. I, I, I've kind of tried to teach myself, and I guess I, I sort of can. I, I get it now. I never used to be able to. Gosh, how do you do something with one hook? I could not work that out. But um, I've done a little, yeah, but not much at all. Um, something I wouldn't mind on my to-do list. So, yeah, not to say I'm not open to doing other crafts. Um, but, yeah, so far, this paper crafts and making journals. I think the reason I love doing it is apart from the fact that I love journaling and um, I just love to create something from scraps and repurpose, like I said. Um, but also, I love um, vintage stuff. And, um, you know, because I can't collect you know antiques or anything oh I did that one I think I might have done that inside out doesn't matter it still looks all right um I think because I yeah I don't have the room to collect antiques as such this to me is a way of collecting vintage ephemera and I can s store it in a little book um a little journal so um that's what draws me to it and I love going out and um finding old things so well um I hope that's not bored you to tears <laughs> I probably rambled on a little bit um so okay that's my 10 questions and so I will now tag two people um and you know I'll keep it to us Aussie girls um because I would love to get to know you guys a little bit more so um first one is Gina Rouse I hope that's how you say her surname um I've actually met Gina She's a local Perth girl. Um, I've given her the heads up, and so she said yes, that she loves the idea of it. Um, but it's school holidays, and she's got the little ones, so she might be a little bit busy um, with the children. But I think she said next weekend she would have a chance to film something. And my second one, I thought Tracy Lyon-Werner. 
Um, I haven't gotten in touch with you, Tracy, but um, hopefully you don't mind me tagging you in if you haven't been tagged already. So anyway, guys, uh, that's me and I'll um, carry on um, working away at this. And uh, until next time, um, thank you very much for your support. Um, and I will be back very soon. Um, if you would like to leave some comments, if you've got any more questions that you would like to ask, um, feel free and I'm happy to answer any questions. Thank you very much. Bye.